Okay, so in this video, we are going to be building a database class that allows us to interact with a MySQL database. So essentially what our class is going to be able to do is to connect to a MySQL server. It's going to be able to query uh, or send a MySQL query, uh, check the amount of rows returned, and then also uh, return that or loop through the result set. So we're going to be building up this class, um, but first of all, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So um, the first thing to do is take a look at the, uh, the database table that I'm using. I've got a database called website. I've got a table inside of this database called articles, and I have got 20 um, articles in here, just article titles. That's it. That's all we're going to be looping through. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this database class here works. I'm not actually going to show the source code or start to write the source code. So you'll start to get an uh, impression of how easy this can be to use uh, if you were apply uh, to apply this to real life. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and require in our database class. And I've called this database.php you can see here that's within the classes directory. So let's head over to our browser and just check that everything's loaded in. Yep, no errors there. So now what I want to do is instantiate my class. So I'm going to create a variable called DB and I'm going to use the new keyword and I'm going to say new database. Now we're instantiating this uh, database class. We're creating, uh, creating an object, but I'm going to return to my browser now and hit refresh and you'll see that we've got a load of errors here. Um, the problem here is is that we have a, a constructor class and what this does is it takes four parameters in here the server the MySQL server the username the password and the database that you're connecting to so let's just go ahead and fill in these gaps and then I'll go ahead and enter the details in so local hosts I'm connecting to my local server which is almost always going to be the case the username for the account I'm using is root and it doesn't have a password so that can remain blank and that uh, the database remember is called tape uh, it's called website sorry so we can go ahead and enter website in here so now hopefully them errors should have disappeared and there we go so we have connected we'll, we've created we've instantiated this and we've used a constructor to pass in these these parameters and if you're really confused at this moment by this terminology you'll it will make perfect sense when we run through the source code so don't worry about that so the next thing we're going to do is query the database so I'm going to use the DB object and I'm going to use the uh, query method and I'm going to query the database so I'm going to say select and I'm going to select um, ooh, let's take a look here so articles so it's website.articles and that's from articles and that's it I'm just gonna pull in all of them articles so there's 20 there so let's go ahead and refresh in the browser check there's no errors ah okay so um, we've got an error here for a MySQL number so expect parameter one to be resource so this um, is wrong Ah, yeah, of course. Uh, I don't know why I've done this, but so I need articles.title from articles. So articles.title. Okay, so um, after that, we uh, refresh, no errors. So I'm selecting from uh, table, and this is the field. Okay, so um, what we want to do now is. Um, create an if statement now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the amount of rows returned if there's no rows returned so there's no results here uh, we're not going to loop through the data no need so I'm going to say if DB num rows is equal to zero echo no articles Otherwise, we want to use a for each loop as we'd normally do. We might use a while or something like that. I'm going to go for each DB rows as article, and then I'm going to echo article and the field name, which here is title. And then I'm just going to pop a break on the end. So if you're completely confused now, we are checking the number of rows, so we're using this num rows method from the database class. If that's equal to zero, just output no articles. 
Otherwise, we loop through the rows that have been returned and we call them article. And then we fetch the title from every returned article. And then at the end, we could pop something like, uh, just pop in a paragraph task, uh, a paragraph element, sorry, X articles. So X will represent the row count. So in this case, I could say DB num rows. Now this here, this method here, sort of, um, it's essentially outputting a variable or, or a property that we're storing within our class. So really, um, this is something to explain a bit later on, but you'll see why I can use this method twice and it won't it won't use the MySQL num rows function twice anyway. Anyway, I'm going to hurry up with this because it's going to get a bit confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh and there we go. So just using this class really easily, we've just sort of, you know, looped through and done all these bits and bobs. And if we wanted to go ahead and um, pull out something else, so articles dot, I think it's just called ID. Let's just double check that. Yep. So if I wanted to just do that, I could then just go ahead and echo article ID and then maybe sort of like a hyphen there or something. And there we go, we've got these the ID for each one now. So it just makes it a lot easier here to do uh, this kind of thing. So uh, this was the introduction almost to this. We've looked at how we can use this class. So hopefully got you excited. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going ahead and building the database class itself. I'm going to be explaining what we do, where, why, what we're storing in properties and what we're using in the methods that we create. And hopefully this should sort of tie together and make sense. So in the next part of the tutorial, we'll look at actually building this class that we have uh, instantiated here and actually, you know, going ahead and seeing how we can apply what we've done.